All right, guys, you have six hours to show contrast tattooing a monochromatic portrait. And your time starts now. Just a list. All right, let me grab what I need real fast. Okay, so I'm going to place the stencil on you standing up so I don't lay down just yet. Portrait day in the Ink Master house has always been an atrocity. Today, we're looking for that to change. Oh, he's going to put it on the thighs, then we're going to put it on the butt. I knew he was going to cop out. This could be tricky because these artists will be able to use only one color for contrast in these tattoos. Some of the details don't get so fine away because if you put blue against it, you're not going to see them. This is the top five anyone could potentially edge in. That's gonna be black, dude. Well, what's gonna be my darkest tone, though? I would not go yeah, navy no, blue. Can... I would go this blue. I'm the last person on Steve's team. I feel like obligated to take his advice at this point. That is super dark. But Steve is just fighting me on everything that I feel is right. I can use this blue and that blue. No, you can't. You're wrong. I may be down to one artist, but now I don't have any more weak links. All my focus could be on Roly. You only get one blue. And if you put that dark blue next to that black, dude, it's gonna be all black. I'm going against my instinct, and I'm going with what Steve is telling me to do, but I'm just wondering if I'm doing the right thing here. This is my day to show off, and I just shot myself in the foot. So I'm kind of referencing this in this picture. I'm seeing where I put my black to be like in this kind of like darker area of the dark red. I just want to make sure that's correct. I mean, that's the only way I see it. If that's all you can use right there, that's the only way. I'm hitting the challenge, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that this photo is blurry and wonky, and so is my tattoo. I could be screwed. All right, guys, five more hours to go. Jason, because the photo is out of focus, I would sharpen it up, clean it up. I'm doing everything I can to make sure my artists I have now are standing with me at the finale. Look at the shapes that the shadows are making of the hair and then texture out the hair. Well, it's not like that in the picture. Jason's whole reference photo is blurry, so it's gonna be really, really difficult to pull the features from the photo to his tattoo. Well, I just, I'm afraid to add something to a picture that isn't there and then get called out for it. In my opinion, if you're doing a portrait tattoo, Based off of a photo, I feel like you need to most accurately represent that photo. When you tell me those things, it just makes me worry that people are making comments that it's not. No, it's... I'm just, I'm being nitpicky myself. It's interesting to see who's going to take the artistic liberty and tattoo it how it should be represented, as opposed to like, oh, it's muddy in the photo, so it's muddy on the tattoo. It's just like, no. Well, you have to, like Deanna's. Deanna's doesn't have hair, so you can't put hair. No way. It's a likeness. It should be apples to apples, It has apples, to look right? like the photo, yeah. yeah. I would think if so. it's an old photo and it's muddy, you have to do that muddy yeah. skin. I'm on the other side with that. I'm stoked about how this thing's gonna look. It's gonna be ridiculous. My goal is to make my picture look like a black and gray portrait of Oliver run through a red filter. That's what monochromatic means. Everyone else's looks like a normal portrait, just shaded with kind of the wrong color. Everything you have right here in this mustache, yeah. if you line that with a three or something, yeah. you, it's done for you. Yep, and then just then just shade off it. That's the plan. I'm gonna knock this out of the park and make this a landslide victory. Two more hours. I got a handful of things in my head that I'm debating on what I'm gonna do. You can do what you're gonna do instead of what everybody else is doing. No, I'm already going totally different than what Wanza is, so. With only five artists left, my biggest competition is still Josh. I'm gonna go a little more graphic style with it, with the monochromatic. I think that's the best play to give it the best look. Let's see. I don't know. Josh thinks he won this thing. He thinks he's the best, but I'm the one to beat here. My piece, it's gonna be bulletproof. As far as portrait day, likenesses are Pretty much on point. Yeah. Deanna and Jason had the hardest ones. Hers out of focus photo and his is like whitewashed. If I, I for me, the bottom right now, honestly, there's rollies. It's not keeping up with the rest of the tricks. We could be no more Team Steve. That's true. This is a tricky game, man. You never know how it's gonna end. It's gonna be tricky. It is. Five, four. Three, two, one, that's it. Machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Well done. Yeah, I feel good.
And you're all done. I'll clean you up, and then we can check it out, all right? It's just, it's literally him. Absolutely amazing. Couldn't ask for better. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. Oh, it's killer, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Deanna's tattoo has really shocked me. Hopefully we win. One step closer. I know. I know how well she does portraits, and for her to drop the ball on a tattoo when she had skull pick is kind of a big deal. Well, good luck. Thank you.